Hey everybody, it's Paul with AZ Wonders and I'm about to embark on another adventure here in Northern Arizona and check one more incredible place off my bucket list. This is the Colorado River and I'm here with a group of uh, five other guys. We're about ready to uh, descend down the river through Horseshoe Bend. This one's been on my bucket list for quite a while. And Horseshoe Bend is one of those uh, iconic places that uh, shows up all over the web and uh, it's as fascinating and intriguing as the uh, Grand Canyon. In fact, it's on the same river as the Grand Canyon. So, um, but a lot of people just go to the top of Horseshoe Bend, which is uh, downstream here a ways, uh, and just kind of look out. I'll put some pictures in the video of Horseshoe Bend, but, uh, but today we are doing a, a two-day float trip, float meaning kayaking. So what we're gonna do is uh, paddle our kayaks down and uh, camp on the riverbank and then uh, paddle down the rest of the way tomorrow. So come along and check it out. I'm switching between cameras, so if you notice a difference in quality, that's that's what's going on here. Some are uh, waterproof, others are not. So this is the uh, Ferry Swell Campground at a, roughly a mile marker 11 on the uh, Colorado River heading up from Lee's Ferry. And uh, it's one of, I think, six campgrounds where you can just pull off the river and, and set up camp. No reservations are needed or available. And it's first come, first serve. There is one uh, composting toilet over there. Uh, and then other than that, your amenities are fire fire ring so uh, but here we are on day two of the float just entering the uh, area known as Horseshoe Bend and uh, the next stop there will be to hike up and see some uh, petroglyphs so for this cool little experience you park down there you beat your uh, kayak at the river it's on the last bend right before Horseshoe Bend. In fact, you can see Horseshoe Bend, the uh, lookout, where all the, uh, if you've ever seen pictures of Horseshoe Bend or if you've ever been there in person, you've probably stood right up uh, around here. So we're gonna go check out these ancient petroglyphs up here. I've seen pictures of them plenty of times. And if you guys have seen some of my videos before, you know that I love me some petroglyphs. So uh, it's about a quarter mile hike, they say up here all right so right here we are literally at the i guess you i'll just call it the apex the top of the uh, horseshoe which you know from visible from up there the uh, the top rounded part of the uh, horseshoe is right there, and there you can see there's a, a, a fire going. That's because there's a campground over there, and we chose to camp upstream intentionally because we heard that this one gets pretty crowded, uh, so that's why we camped a couple miles upstream and uh, just started paddling early in the morning. But uh, 
This is what Horseshoe Bend Overlook looks like from the bottom. In fact, I can see the people at the rail up there. Let me see if I can catch them on uh, the camera here. Right up there. Uh, I'm sorry, right there. There is a little uh, railing with uh, see some people looking over. So there it is. All right, my buddy just pointed out uh, he, as we were coasting by here, he heard some water which usually means a spring and uh, so telltale sign you see all the lush green vegetation right there and uh, it's a pretty rocky shoreline anyway again we're still at the bottom of the uh, horseshoe bend overlook and a little tidbit of trivia there is a natural spring right at the bottom of it i was actually gonna go fill up but it doesn't look like the uh, opening is very accessible so i'll just wait for my next uh, opportunity to, to grab a little bit more spring water for the canteen yeah, one last look here before we continue on. So we're down to about the uh, four mile spot on the Colorado River here and uh, this appears to be one of the few canyons where you can just pull your kayak off and and uh, hike up into these uh, canyons here, like slot canyons. So in the heavy, you definitely don't want to do it during a heavy downpour, but what happens is the water comes rushing out of those slot canyons during the heavy rainfalls but what it leaves behind is a clear path of no trees or shrubs and just a bunch of sand that you can walk up so if you walk up those canyons a lot of times you'll see these uh, very uh, just awe-inspiring uh, rock formations so just a quick wrap up then this was a, a two-day experience that I had on the uh, Colorado River we took a uh, uh, what I would call a ferry, but they call it a backhaul service up to the uh, Glen Canyon Dam. They're just downstream from the Glen Canyon Dam. That's about a 15 mile boat ride. And they brought all of our gear with us. And when we got up there, we, we uh, they dropped us off basically on the, uh, the beach on the side of the river. We paddled down about five miles, camped in a campground called Ferry Swell Campground. And then uh, had, a, had a great time around the campfire last night, me and five other guys, and uh, uh, had, had our uh, dinner there, our breakfast this morning, packed up everything back on the kayaks again, and then just started heading downstream. So you got to see uh, what, it, what it looks like in Horseshoe Bend from the river, river angle. And then uh, of course I've tried to show off some of the canyon walls here. And we're pedaling back down to what's known as Lee's Ferry. That's the uh, place where we started. That's where our cars are waiting. So we'll just uh, load up and head back to Phoenix from there. If you have any questions about this experience, um, specific things like I didn't know, such as uh, where you can have fires and whether or not there's firewood uh, to gather, where you can fill up your water bottles, uh, i.e. at the springs. Um, you, you know, let me know. Uh, and also I'm going to post a link to a full blog write-up with more details on who we used as, a, um, as an outfitter. Uh, so just some other uh, tips. I'm a, kind of a thrifty kind of person, so I, I like to try to include money and time-saving tips. But uh, before I sign off, just one more gander here at the uh, incredible 
view that we get to experience here that's only available by paddling or boating up the Colorado River from Lee's Ferry to Glen Canyon. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to sharing more Arizona adventures with you in the future. Thanks. Bye now.